As a pathologist, we see all the complicated and unusual cases in the medical center. When a cancer patient presents to our hospital, oftentimes the first thing that we really need to do in order to move forward is to establish the correct diagnosis. The pathologist is, is crucial in this process. And in fact, everything that happens downstream in treating this patient really stems from an accurate diagnosis. I have to tie the molecular, the DNA uh, level information with the other types of information to achieve a diagnosis. And the point of all that is that those types of information are better at predicting outcomes, better at predicting how will this patient fare with or without particular types of treatment. One of the most dramatic experiences that I've had involved a specific alteration in a tumor type that's a very high-grade type of lung cancer for which therapies were not truly available. And it was a fairly aggressive tumor with a survival span of, of weeks to months. And in that tumor type, we identified a vulnerability for that tumor, a very specific alteration in a fairly rare tumor. There was a patient who had that alteration and there was a medication that matched that alteration. And it was suggested that it could be administered because of the discovery of that alteration. Within 24 hours of the administration of that agent, patient's abdominal pain disappeared. Within a month, the tumors that had been in lung, liver, and abdomen were completely gone. And that six months later, the patient who had originally been scheduled to go for palliative or hospice care was at home and living with disease. They're coming to us in their most vulnerable state and they need to get better. And so we're constantly striving to use new types of information to make that happen. And that keeps working in the healthcare industry exciting, I think, for me and many of my colleagues. Here at Weill Cornell, we're trying to always use the most up-to-date information, the most up-to-date techniques, the most up-to-date technologies to ensure that we're making the most accurate uh, and timely diagnosis that can best inform the other people in the team as to how to treat the patient. And that combination, that is excellence in diagnostics, excellence in treatment, but compassion for what the individual patient can endure, are critical components to Weill Cornell's physician team and make this a destination for cancer patients that should be number one in New York. If you interact with a pathologist, you will see that our information is unique and is driving all the care that you're receiving. And that part of it, we really don't get to communicate to most of the patients, and this is our opportunity to talk to you about that. But in fact, we are here, we are diagnosing every cancer that has ever been diagnosed, and we're doing so with as close to 100% accuracy as we possibly can. And as a result, our field has continued to grow because its value has been recognized by our peers and the field of molecular pathology continues to grow because in the same way as we need to make sure our diagnostic information is accurate, we have to make sure that our molecular information is accurate because we know there's a lot riding on it. Every day that I come into work, I might discover something new or something interesting. And that combination really makes for a quite exciting experience uh, every day that I come to work.